wise mind refers to a state of mind or a state of being where you are the wisest and make the most effective decisions. We want you to learn how to recognize wise mind and how to get into that state on purpose, even when you are upset. First, let's distinguish wise mind from two other states of mind that we're frequently in, emotion mind and reasonable mind. Emotion mind is the state of mind when your emotions control your thoughts, urges, and behaviors. When you're in emotion mind, your emotions dictate your responses regardless of your long-term goals. With anger, you might lash out at someone or engage in road rage behavior. When you're in emotion mind with sadness, you might stay in bed all day and neglect your responsibilities. There are certain vulnerabilities that make you more likely to be in emotion mind, like being tired, hungry, physically ill, stressed, or under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Reasonable mind is a state of mind where reason and logic control your thoughts, urges, and behaviors. When you're in reasonable mind, facts and logic dictate your responses. When you're in reasonable mind, you might demand things go a particular way that you feel is right according to the facts. Maybe reasonable mind sounds good to you, though you have to remember that logic and facts devoid of emotions means you lose your sense of values and empathy. So in reasonable mind, you might not realize that another person is upset and do what's needed to help them. Wise mind represents the integration of emotion mind and reasonable mind. It is knowing the facts and logic in a situation, as well as tuning into emotional and sensory experiences. Similar to intuition, wise mind is often described as a centered gut feeling felt in the body. Finding your wise mind can take a lot of practice. To practice getting into wise mind when you're in a different state of mind, you can do a number of things. One is attending to your breath coming in and out of your body and focusing your attention into your center at the bottom of your breath. You can add the words wise and mind to your in-breath and out-breath. Another exercise is to ask wise mind a question. Breathe in, silently ask wise mind a question, and when you breathe out, just listen without giving yourself an answer. Just notice what answers come up for you. As a skill, wise mind can be incredibly useful for getting you to a more centered place where you can act more effectively.